Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to make a 3D printable design which needs support for the printing process because it has overhangs. And also, we are going to use mirror line for the design process. And as you can see on the screen, we are going to make a name tag holder. Okay, let's start by a file new design. Okay, I'm going to first make a rectangle with the size of a standard credit card so uh, let me press V on my keyboard and we have this view now I'm going to click this one the rectangle and we are going to make a rectangle 86 by 54 millimeters okay now this is the basic rectangle and then I'm going to click this one first select and then double click on the rectangle and then click this one the offset curve and we are going to add one millimeters so we have allowance from the credit card size or the name tag size to the inner uh, wall of the name tag holder and then again I will click on the outer rectangle sorry double click okay and I will add another two millimeters and this will be the thickness of the wall around the uh, name tag holder next I will click this one construction line okay and then we are going to make a line at the center of this uh, line so let me show you here it shows a small triangle so click from that one to this uh, one so we have a line at the center of this uh, rectangle and then we will right click on this line and set as a mirror line okay so now everything that we do on this side of the uh, design will also reflect it on the other side next we will add the tap or the flange that will hold the card or the name tag and to do that I will click this one rectangle okay and then I will click from this uh, rectangle, the second one, not the uh, inner rectangle, but the uh, second one. And I'm going to add 15 millimeters to the side. Okay, 15 and 3 millimeters. So it's going to look like this. And as you can see, it also reflects to this side. And I will add another rectangle and it's going to be 8 by 3 like this okay so this is going to be the tab that we use and this one will be deleted later it's okay um, next I will add another flange or tab for this side so I'm going to make first the uh, rectangle as a guidance so this is going to be 20 by 3 okay and then another rectangle 8 by 3 and this is going to be the tab yes so now I click select and I'm going to delete this line it's not used anymore this is just guidance okay and this one also so we have this one two three and four as the flange or tab or holder and then I will also add another holder here at the base so this is going to uh, the card will slide in from this direction and this is going to be the base and this is going to be the top that will have a hole for the lanyard or for the string but now we will add the stopper or holder or tab at the bottom I'm going to click this one rectangle again and we'll click from this one I'm going to add let's say 5 by 3 okay so we have this uh, rectangle or tap right here and then I'm going to add another part here that's going to be uh, the place where we can put hole for the lanyard or the string so I'm going to click this one the three-point rectangle and then click from here to here you can also from this uh, from here to the center it's also uh, going to make a similar result okay but I'm going to okay let's just full to the other end and add 
eight millimeters like this okay and then we are going to make a hole here so I'm clicking this one circle and at here let's say the circle is four millimeters diameter like this okay uh, it's already look like a name card or name tag holder next I will add some round uh, corners here so I'm going to click this one the create rounded corner and then I'll click here and sorry it's not responding now it's okay from here up to here so we have this rounded corner now and also here to here okay and then also as you can see it's also reflected to this side and uh, maybe this is the remaining of the first guidance rectangle so I'm going to click this one and delete to make it more simple with the moment okay and the next we will make a rounded corner also click here and then I'm going to click here and it put one millimeters okay and also this one sorry we still have some remaining from the previous guidance uh, rectangle so it's okay we are going to click from this uh, point to this point and let the radius one millimeters okay and then uh, click select and then click this line and then press delete okay we have the, the result now also for this one we are going to do the same click this one the create rounded corner and then click here and make a one millimeters radius or two millimeter in diameter so it's the same thing and next we will also do the same thing for the outer corners to make it more smooth okay done and later we will add uh, the part for the base and also the walls and also the tab but first we are going to make the pattern for the base this is going to be the pattern for the holder or the tabs or the flange but uh, for the base we will make some holes maybe as a reference like this so we will add holes at the base and the on the 3d printing process this will be where the support goes up to support this overhang okay so we return to the design and here we are going to add one millimeters of allowance from the tap to the base uh, hole so to do that I will click this one select and we will select this uh, set of lines so I press control on my keyboard and then click this one this one this one this one and this one and then click offset curve so we are going to add one millimeters one millimeter from the uh, tap lines same thing for this one so press control and then click one by one ah, sorry I should click this one first select press control and then click one by one this one two three four five okay and then this ah sorry I uh, I need to press select the lines okay click select press control click this one two three four five previously this line also active so it mess up the selection okay now click this one the offset curve and add one millimeter okay done and also for this one same thing uh, click this one first select and then press control this one two three and actually one two three is also okay the other will follow the uh, mirror line so click this one and 
at one millimeter done so we have this shape now that's ready to be extruded as needed so now i'm clicking this one 3d mode and we have this uh, set of shapes set of surfaces first we will extrude the walls the outer wall but as you can see uh, we still need some something here so we are going to add a stopper here and we are going to open this side so that the card can slide in so at the moment let me return to the sketch mode so I press K on my keyboard and then V so we have this view and I will click this one rectangle again and then we will uh, add a rectangle here and like this actually we can also use a line so it doesn't need to be a rectangle but it's okay and we are going to add a rectangle here that's going to be the uh, stopper so uh, the mirror line is not active anymore but that's okay we are going to do the old way so this is going to be 20 by 2 but I'm going to make 2 by 10 2 by 10 okay and then again return to the 3d mode yes we have this shape now can rotate a little and then select on the outer surface this will be the walls and then also this one so I'm pressing control on my keyboard and then click this surface and this surface and then click pull we will extrude the wall and uh, for this uh, model it's going to be base add with the thickness of the card and allowance and add with the thickness of the flange or tab so in this case I'm going to have the same numbers 1.2 1.2 and 1.2 millimeters so we are going to extrude by 3.6 millimeters okay but it will depends on the card size or name tag size but for now we are going to use this first yes and then the next one before we extrude the base we extrude this uh, stopper so we are going to pull this one by 2.4 okay and then next we are going to extrude the base so the base is going to be this one and also this ones I press control on my keyboard and select these surfaces okay also this one and this one wait okay also for this side okay and for this space we are going to extrude by 1.2 millimeters so I'm typing in 1.2 and this is how it looks like yes we have the uh, name card or name tag holder for the base and wall and now for the stopper or flange or tap so for that one we are going to move this surface up and wait a moment let me check if it's possible to okay it's possible to move this one move click this one the arrow that uh, on the direction to the uh, top surface and then press U and click this one okay now we have moved all the surfaces here and we will extrude only the surface that we need so in that case I'm going to uh, press control and then uh, click here one two three and four and then pull extrude uh, add down by 1.2 millimeters okay like this and for this uh, outer surface this one two and three we don't have to extrude that will be the space or the allowance between the tab and the base that will make the support process easy for the 3d printing process okay we'll also do the same thing here so I press control on my keyboard and then click here and here and then extrude by 1.2 Okay, done no problem and now we can hide the surface that we don't need also the curves 
and here it is but still we can improve this design this will take too many materials that actually we can save so I'm going to click here and then press K press V we are going to cut some portion of the base so in this case I'm going to click this one the rectangle and click here and it's going to be so if we see here for the center it's 72 around 72 by 20 millimeters so I'm going to move down until 40 millimeters so I'm not using any mirror line anymore but it's a, it's a more simple process now we don't have to use it all the time okay and now we are going to make the corner rounded so I'm clicking this one rounded corner and then click here let's add five millimeters for the radius which also means 10 millimeters for the diameter of the round corner also this corner done now click 3d mode I click this one home click here sorry and then pull click here and cut the uh, rectangle shape and now it's done this is the name card or name tag holder that we can use so we can slide in the name tag from this side okay and then uh, this step these steps will hold the name tag so it's not falling or uh, removed from this uh, holder and then this all we can use to add lanyard or string or chain to it and this uh, stopper will stop the card from uh, going out from this holder for the printing process you will need to activate support feature as it will helps to print these tabs one two three four five and it's not going to be too difficult since we have make uh, this one this one millimeter space between the base and the uh, overhang feature okay that's all i will share the file on calc 3d and if you have any idea or suggestion please don't hesitate to put in the comment section that's all for now thank you for watching and have a nice day bye